Hey guys, Otto here from Acquisition Partner. In this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to bypass the Apollo.io uh, export credit limit. So if you've got an Apollo.io account, or if you use Apollo, uh, or indeed any other B2B uh, lead database uh, software, uh, whatever it might be, uh, where you have to pay for credits, if you are looking for a way to do it for free, or perhaps you've paid for an account um, and you've already used up this month's quota of credits, I'm gonna show you how you can still download leads, still get their uh, contact information, phone numbers, emails, um, everything like that for free. So what I'll do is I will minimize my face here. Now, first things first, you're gonna need a couple of tools. So like I say, we are on Apollo here. Apollo is what we use for our business as our B2B leads database. There's lots of different ones depending on uh, what niche that you're in. Uh, and the second thing that you're going to need is a, a data miner and a scraper. Okay, so there's a number of different Chrome uh, extensions and plugins that you can use up here that will basically scrape data on any given website uh, dependent on the parameters that you set. Okay, so it sounds very, very simple that you can just sort of click a button and it will scrape everything. Uh, but with all these things, it's, it's slightly more complicated. But I'm going to show you here in this video. Um, so watch to the end. Uh, and I'll show you how you can at least get first name, last name, and email address, which is obviously enough uh, for you to get going on your um, cold outreach for free. Okay, so um, like I say, this is what I use, data miner, it's a Chrome extension, but there's lots of other ones that you can use. So what I'm gonna do here is I've, I've for anybody who's not familiar with Apollo, you probably will be if you're watching this video, uh, I've set up a, a save search here, and uh, what I've been able to do is go into one of my lists uh, and I'll click on the first page here to get me to the, the beginning of that list. Now, I'm gonna show you what Apollo will do when you want to export all of these contact details, all of these leads, okay? So if you select all people, and then you go to export, what's gonna happen is uh, once you click start export and you're outside of your credit usage uh, allowance, you're gonna get a not notification saying buy more credits, okay? And that's what we are, in this video, that's what we're getting past, okay? So here we go. You've not got enough credits, uh, got 386 left, and to download all of these 2,100 leads, I'm gonna have to buy another 272 uh, credits. Okay, so and go on to a custom plan. All right, so considering that I don't wanna do that, and maybe you would be in the same position, what I want to do is basically build a uh, web page scraper that will just take all this information that I need. Okay. And the way that we do that, first things first, is by minimizing the screen so it won't allow it in uh, uh, when the screen, when your tab is maximized. We're going to go over to the uh, data miner tool here and click scrape page. Now, what I'm going to teach you in this video is how to set up a custom recipe to do this. Okay, and a recipe is basically the step-by-step -step automation that data miner goes through to scrape the information that you need. Okay, and I've got one, um, I've got one uh, here for Apollo that I can share with you. And as you can see, it's got the names, company names, and emails, okay? So these are corresponding with all of these here. Scroll that along. Liam, Adam, Hannah, Liam, Adam, Hannah. Email addresses are uh, over here. So even Apollo doesn't have an email for these, but it does for this one. Again, show you where the email address is. Here it is. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Um, and I'm gonna build this right now so that you can just follow along and do the same. Okay, so we'll just pull that in so this is easier to uh, manage. And then we'll go to new recipe. Get this a bit bigger. There we go, new recipe. I'm gonna jump over actually to the second page because I've already done the first page. And what you're gonna be presented with here with uh, data miner is just a number of steps that you have to go through and we'll go through each of them quickly now. Okay, so we the first step is that we wanna choose the type of recipe, uh, very simple. We've got multiple roles here that we need to export uh, and that's what we're gonna do here. So we click quickly onto the next stage. Now, some pages, depending on what tool you're using, uh, some pages you'll need to actually click the email addresses to uh, bring them uh, uh, bring them to a point that they're visible. 
uh, they might be behind a button. So for example, these here, uh, website links to these companies are at sit behind a button here. Um, but fortunately in this example, emails are exposed as they are. Okay, so they can easily be copied there. All right, so there's no actions we really need to take here. We're taking the names, we're taking the company names here, and we're taking the email address. Okay, it's simple. All right, next step is what we need to do is set up rows. Okay, so you're teaching the data miner how to visualize the rows. We know what the rows are here. Really simple. We can select them in Apollo, um, but data miner isn't as intelligent as we are <laughs> and um, needs a prompt. Okay, so you click the easy row finder. And then you're going to get a prompt like this okay so what you have to do here and you focus firstly again we're looking at rows okay so we want to select the first uh, an element in the first row and an element in the second row all right so we're going to hover over hover over what we want uh, now this is their name I'm going to press one and that's going to put a red box around there then we'll go to the second row uh, and press two and what that has done is found 25 rows okay so we can see here, if you go to Apollo, you can select the first 25 people. There's 25 people on the page, so that is um, that's all good. Okay, so we're going to confirm that. Now the next stage, because this is correct, if this said five or one, you'd have to go back and select the correct element. Just make sure you're doing it right. We'll go on to columns now. Okay, so what we need to do is just map the columns. Okay, and the first column is going to be name. This is going to be quite uh, an easy one um, that we can just use the easy column finder for. We select text here, which is already selected, and we are going to hover over uh, the specific area that we want the data scraper to take. So what I'm doing here is just checking what the best all-encompassing uh, selection is for, for each name. So we can, we can have a play with it. We'll go with this one. Okay, so... This isn't uh, this isn't ac accurately firing. Okay, so we need to narrow it to one element. We're going to just keep playing around here. Okay, great. So by clicking the box outside here, it confused everything. But by actually clicking the name itself, which is in this column, um, we've we can see here in the uh, data miner that it's taken the name from that individual. All right. So we just click confirm. And then what we need to do here is just double check that it's again taking 25 pieces of data here, which you can see visually as well with these boxes. All right, quickly through, and I'll jump straight to the email because again, it's, it's simple for the company name, you just do the same, but I'll do it here for the email. I'm gonna scroll over. Now, what you'll find is that with the uh, easy select, um, you it might not allow you to select exactly what you want every single time. So what we've done here is we've gone for the first uh, first selection here of the email address. We'll see what that gives us in terms of rows of data. Okay, so this is this is not incorrect. It's given us 15 uh, pieces of, of data here. Uh, in this case, it's not including this no email. So if we wanted to include that too, uh, so that our Staff or VAs know that in our leads list where it says no email, it's a, an email that they actually have to go out and source. It's not just one that hasn't been inputted or there's been an error. You can go to the advanced settings and you can select uh, a variety of different options here for your selector. Okay, so and this is going to be based on the HTML code behind uh, how Apollo is presenting this on their database and their website. Okay, so it sounds complicated, but I'll show you. It's, it's pretty easy. We'll go to advanced finder. We'll drop down to, oh, here we go. Okay, so we're going to hover over this now, the emails with uh, the shift button. I'm just gonna have a look here to see what it then selects. And what we want to see is these get selected in the box. Okay, so they're not getting selected yet. I'm gonna keep clicking. Okay, so it's not worked with that one, which is fine. You just have to do a little bit of playing here to go back to cancel okay and what we'll do is we'll go to edit and we'll just clear uh, where are we we'll just clear what we're doing so we'll reset it okay we'll go to advanced uh, what I might do here yeah we'll go for text uh, advanced filter 
we're just going to hover over again okay so shift hover okay that's not what we it's not what we wanted <laughs> uh, all right bear with me let's start again okay here we go start again we will go immediately to the advanced settings we're going to choose our unique identifier let's go for the big box here okay so that's not working like I say guys you need to spend a bit of time just playing around with it to see what specifically uh, this will actually work for so my impression is that won't work let's give it a go ha okay all right so let's click all of those okay so this is selected no email it's a long-winded way of, of doing what I'm saying but we'll give it a go and uh, we'll run the recipe okay so we're going to take two columns here those are in uh, navigation element basically refers to the data miner when you automate the scraping it's going to click through to each individual tab okay so you're going to hover over the end button on your keyboard and then go over towards where you have to click um, and we're going to click the next arrow there and that's what the, uh, the scraper is going to press to automate everything for you don't worry about JavaScript keep on going to save let's we'll call it recipe one and then we'll go to uh, scrape and data miner okay and then what we need to do here guys is we need to select uh, next page automation because we don't just want to take uh, this page here so what I'll do just so this is quick is I'll put two pages and then we'll click scrape two pages here and just let this run and what it's going to do is immediately scrape the first page that we're on it's going to wait eight seconds um, and then it will scrape the second page and then once it's finished what we're going to be able to do is download a CSV file um, or we can copy it to clipboard or um, save it directly to our Google Drive if you've synced it to data miner okay so here we go 50 rows are done click download go to CSV let me open this guy up and then here we go we've got their names and we've got all their email addresses and then that part where we were just trying to find the right selection there to include no email you can see that that worked um, and then this will act as an ind indication depending on what pre CRM lead tracker uh, you're using to store all of your prospects information and get your team to clean it up um, you know having a reference here to the fact that you've tried to find the email but you actually haven't got it uh, is a good indication for your team on, on what they need to do next so that's it guys hopefully that was um, quick and easy let me know if you've got any comments and I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next one all right cheers guys bye